Well, on the eve of the six-month anniversary of the October 7th attacks, thousands of Israelis have come here to Tel Aviv to protest the government, to call for new elections, trying to trigger Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's prime minister, trying to trigger his ouster. These Israelis who we've been talking to tonight have been voicing discontent with the prime minister, with his handling of the war in some instances. Others have been protesting against him and his right-wing government uh, since before the war going back to those judicial reform protests that took place for months right here uh, in central Tel Aviv. Now, the question is, what will all of this pressure actually lead to? The polls show that if elections were held today, Netanyahu's party would lose significant support. But there's nothing that would actually trigger immediate elections that seems to be on the immediate horizon. We have heard growing calls for elections, including from Benny Gantz, uh, a member of the war cabinet who is also Netanyahu. Yahoo's chief political rival, but it's not clear that there's anything that would trigger those elections immediately. And so for now, thousands of people here today raising their voices, voicing that discontent and hoping that something will happen to trigger those new elections and to give them a chance to see a new prime minister in office. Jeremy Diamond, CNN, Tel Aviv.